views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. You are listening to Living Letter Radio. I'm Jason. And I'm Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio. Living Lighter provides a revolutionary way to address what's truly holding you back. We have the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time, be living lighter. Join us now for a Living Lighter experience. This is Living Lighter Radio, and I'm Patricia. I'm here with my husband, Jason, and today we're going to talk about self-knowledge. This is part one of a three-part series. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, why is self-knowledge so important? Well, first of all, this is what's missing in our programming culture. When we're programmed to be um, a certain way rather than understanding who we are and then being that way, and that sounds, that sounds confusing. Yeah, It's it almost does. as if we were all machines. So being, or we're thought of as machines. Exactly. Okay. And a good machine will do this. A good machine will go to this school. Oh, and a, and a good machine will have a life expectancy of this. Or, um, 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 yes, but the, the, also, the other thing is, is that, um, um, you know, in terms of our norms, in terms of how we're supposed to act, you know, are we supposed to be um, quiet and listen, even though that's not us? <laughs> or are we supposed to be um, bold and brash, even though that's not us either? You know, it's, um, we have all these rules and these programming. If you, if you read about um, um, traits of a good doctor, traits of a good lawyer, traits of a good um, uh, marketing person or whatever it is, we, instead of saying, who are we and how are we going to bring that to the whatever occupation we choose, we think in terms of what we should be. And what happens if, when this happens over and over again, in this um, programming environment, we get lost. In other mm. words, our, the authentic part of who we are gets lost. Yeah. And it hap- it's epidemic. It happens to almost everybody. Yes. The other part of this is that self-knowledge becomes irrelevant in a problem-solution environment. Oh, overweight? Well, here's a solution. It doesn't say, well, why are you overweight? It's about what are the solutions to being overweight? You spend too much money? Oh, here are the solutions to spending too much money. But it doesn't say, why are you spending too much money? Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe you're too um, um, you're trying to figure out uh, what you want to do in life, what what occupation you should be. Right. Um, It doesn't really matter what what occupation you should be. It's what what's good. You know, what's what's a good occupation to have? Well, you and I both know that one, Jason, for sure. We lived our lives that way. Oh, it's and it's Mm -hmm. so destructive when you. when you don't think about who you are first, yeah, yeah, you know, machines and what we call traditional vice seem see solutions as the same for everyone. No, it doesn't work that way. We're all different. Well, and and you wonder why some people are resistant, and or somebody, some people can't uh, quote make the grade, or they believe they've been led to believe they're not good enough. They're not a good enough machine. Come on, give me a break. That doesn't that doesn't work. Exactly. You know, I mean, it, well, let's put it this way. Everybody wants it to work because they think that makes their life easier. Exactly. But it, but it doesn't. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. Okay. So, um, you know, Jason, you were talking about programming. So do us a favor. Do, do me and the audience a favor. Review what program, what, excuse me, what programming is and what it is not. Okay. Um, you know, the main part about this is why it's bad for you because, okay. you know, we, we're so accustomed to it. We don't see that there's anything wrong with it, but here's how I define it. It uses tr- force, trickery, manipulation, seduction to get you to change or modify your behaviors. Mm. But 
most times when we get advice, you don't hear the word force, trickery, manipulation. What you hear are things like expressions like self-discipline. Which challenge. Is like, oh, and this is a challenge. This is a challenge. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a manipulation. Self-discipline is a force. Mm-hmm. Self-control is force. Behavior mod is seduction. If you do this, you get a treat. If you do this, you get punished. That's behavior mod. Mm. Um, um, it works for um, our dogs, but I'm not sure it's the best thing, you know. Yeah, uh, but I've also seen him go, no, I'm not, no, that treat. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not a big enough treat. I'm, I'm, I want something else. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty soon they figure that out too. But, yeah. you know, um, strategies to motivate. You know, when you hear that word motivate, oh, it always makes. Um, yeah, don't say it. Yeah, okay. It, it, it makes a part of me quiver. And, you know, it just. Um, <laughs> Um, you sh- if you're being yourself, if you have the self knowledge, and you're doing what's in alignment with who you are authentically, mm-hmm. motivation is completely irrelevant. It because happens it just naturally. Happens. Yes, exactly, exactly. You know, we they talk about rewarding yourself. Um, focus. Oh, focus is a form of force. Mm-hmm. We don't think of it that as a bad thing, but yeah. Well, think of focus as being a form of having to tunnel your your attention. To and ignore, know, yes, and ignore the rest of the world or your life. All those parts of yourself that yes. just um, 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 want something else. Well, okay. So, with that said, Jason, how are we supposed to work? How are we supposed to be? Think of yourself. A, a great example is a kid in kindergarten. You know, um, if you ask ask a kid in kindergarten and say, what's your favorite color? Or or do you want the blue one or the red one? They know. It's not like they have to figure it out. It's not like they have to say, Well, what what studies what the studies say that you should have <laughs> the the blue crayon or the red crayon, you know? <laughs> oh my god, I didn't make the grade. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care about the studies. They, they just say, Okay, I want the blue one. Yes. And then tomorrow you might ask them the same question. They may want the red one. It's right. okay. You know, that's that's um, because they're listening to their intuition and what's um, being carried. The intuition is a pathway and what's being carried is emotional feedback. And they just know that, hey, today I want a, a, a blue one or a red one or neither. I don't like either one of those colors. I want a green one. You know, it's, um, it's just the way, that's the way we're designed to work. Now, that's not very sophisticated. So when we when we um, by somebody else's standards, by the way, exactly. When we grow up and we're trying to decide who we're going to marry, we we would if we didn't have all this negative energy or this all this programming that distracted us and that then numbed us out. We had to be married, or 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 that we should marry a certain type of person. Right. Then we would just know who we're in love with. You know, every single and it would be okay. Every single and and I'm this is embarrassing, but. Um, everybody in this family watches the Hallmark Channel. <laughs> and, and, you know, in February, it's been Valentine's and they have all these, all these love stories, blah, blah, blah. And it's not like you're ever on the edge of your seat trying to figure out how it ends. But every single one of those, um, the woman or the man who's falling in love st- struggles to really understand who they really love. And eventually they find, they, under, they listen to their heart, quote unquote, and they, they know, you know, everything turns out. But in real life, what I see is that, and we've seen this for, tw- you know, 20 years, each one of us, oh my gosh, people don't know yeah. what they like, yeah, well, who they like, who they love, what, they, what they're attracted to authentically, and what's a, sort of a, um, a false um, attraction or some sort of attraction that's based on negative energy as opposed to positive energy. Well, okay, wait a minute. So uh, let's, let's back up. What do you mean by we're supposed to be able to, um, you know, I asked you the question, how are we supposed to be? How are we supposed to work? And you said that there's these, we have, that we should be able to um, have our feelings. Yes. And, and in other words, it, our feelings are the way we use to um, um communicate with our essence but that's one way it's it's not that's not the only, only way, way. Okay. but it's it's the it's the primary way but for and i'm gonna i'm gonna throw out a few numbers here that i see i see that at least 85 percent of the people that are around me 
don't have any idea that their feelings actually can matter and that there's truth or that they can trust these feelings. Well, and the, unfortunately, there's some truth to that. And that's part of the problem. Okay. Is that be, when we program ourselves, when we force ourselves, when we trick ourselves, manipulate, seduce, all those things, what we're doing is we're pushing aside our emotions. So when we finally do say, oh, how do I feel? We get this, whoa, it's, it's like, it's, it's like um, what I used to do in college. And, and, and I'm just going to say, well, I still do it. But that's, that's another thing. I, I used to st stick all my stuff. When someone would come over, I would used to <laughs> shove all the stuff in the closet. So I'd push in more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. And then when I open it, all this crap would then fall whoa, over. <laughs> would happen. Okay, yes. yeah. So um, that's what happens with your emotions. Okay. You, you push the emotions aside, you push your emotions aside, and you, and you say, okay, um, who do I love? Okay, so, so um, I know you have a story um, about emotions and the army. Yes. Well, maybe we, we should do that um, the next segment. Why don't we do that? Well, then, uh, okay. That sounds good to me. Jason, what are the key points of this segment? That's a good teaser. We can use that for, for teaser. Okay. But the key points for this segment is self-knowledge becomes irrelevant in a problem solution environment. That's the programming environment. That um, solutions always need to be molded based on you. Otherwise, you're treating yourself like a machine. And we don't know who we are, so you we are... Um, acting like a machine, that the most valuable tool you have in you have in life is your essence, and for the majority, it's invisible, and that your essence knows what's best for you, but you need to learn how to listen to it. Okay, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about specific areas in your life that would be better with more self knowledge, and Jason's going to tell us the story of the army and weight gain. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Have you discovered the remarkable books at angelhealinghouse.com? Author Claire Candy Hoff has channeled rare books of inspiration and insight. Angels of Faith is an inspiring story of healing, comfort, and hope that reminds us that death is not to be feared, but embraced with joy. One True Home Behind the Veil of Forgetfulness takes readers on a roller coaster ride through Angel Ariel's five most important lives on Earth, as well as her experiences in the afterlife, and helps us remember our own journey across the veil. And Claire Candy's autobiography, I Am an Angelic Walk-In, which details the 2003 soul exchange that took place when Claire Candy walked out of her body and Angel Ariel walked in, creating heaven on earth for herself and others. To find out more about these wonderful books, visit angelhealinghouse.com today. Hi, I'm Laura Meeks, and the most common problem that my clients face is all work and no play. This is why I created Fly High Living. I help you develop a balanced life plan and guide you to a place where you love to wake up in the morning. Call 888-666-1570 or go to flyhighliving.com to sign up for the four-week Flight Plan for Life course. Choose the New Earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. The Cornelia Stephanie Show is your catalyst for anchoring heaven on earth on a global scale. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. If you have a sense that you are meant for more, 
Join Heather Allison every third Tuesday at noon Pacific as she explores an ancient, forgotten energy within us and helps us access our original archetypal blueprint. The Golden Path will help you remember the key to unlocking your life, love, success, and magic you were meant for. A key to unlocking your Golden Path. Visit heather-allison.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason, and I'm Patricia. We're talking about specific areas of your life that would be better with more self-knowledge. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason. First a story, and then what are the the well, better the areas that would be better with self knowledge? Well, it's a great segue into understanding the area specifically in terms okay. of self knowledge, okay. because when this is way before I started doing the clearing, and um, I was young and foolish, um, um, I was I was six years into an army career. I really enjoyed it. I probably would have been a lifer, but my first wife uh, died of cancer. And all of a sudden, I was a single parent. And um, uh, for those of you who don't know, in, in the Army, you, have to, you can't be a single parent. You have to have a care plan. I was in a go-to-war unit. I was in the 82nd Airborne. And um, they need to be able to call you out on moment's notice. And they need to know that, you're, that you have a care plan in place so that your kids would be taken care of. And I didn't really have that. I didn't really want to create one that was superficial because... You know, my daughter just lost her mom. I didn't want, you know, any of that. So it was a pretty traumatic time. So after I got out of the army, I started to gain weight. Well, okay, you know, I've always been kind of um, focused on health. I like, you know, kind of a health nut, I guess. Um, And most of us would take a problem solution approach to say, okay, let's lose some weight, you know, and well, what would I do? I'd, I'd go back and do probably the stuff I learned in the Army, do more exercise, you know, that sort of thing. But it was hard for me to just get it together. And the reason is, and, then I, and the reason that I know now, is that first of all, everything in my life um, was changed. You know, my sense of who I was, what I was going to do after the Army was all up for grabs. Where I was going to go was all up for grabs. Um, and, you know, dealing with the, the death of my wife and the being a single parent all of a sudden um, to a, a child who was, who was um, 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 very... Um, Active, it, aware, yes. and... Um, <laughs> smart. Uh, just plain smart. And there if, you go. For you other parents out there that, you know, that's, that's a kind of a tactful way of saying hard to handle. (laughs) (laughs) So, so here I was and, you know, this problem solution would never have worked for me. I, you know, I tried, I tried to lose weight back then, but I just seemed to gain more. I'd get a little bit and then I'd gain some more. And this is where self-knowledge is really important because first of all, if I had been doing this, you know, the ecosystem approach to uncovering who I was way before that happened, I would have had an easy transition to say, okay, well, I had this career and I can go to this career because I I would know myself, but I didn't have that. I would have a better knowledge of who my daughter was and how, what she needed from me in terms of, you know, some sort of um, um, authentically knowing because I knew myself and then I could see her, but I I didn't have either one of those. I didn't really know myself and I didn't really see her with the clarity that I needed to make those decisions, you know, for the most part, I was a mess. Okay, so so I'm I'm sorry. I'm going to make you back up for just a minute. So what you're saying is because there was trauma, drama, and chaos in your life, not not to mention change, that you started to gain weight, but didn't understand why. There was no this is happening, so this is the result. Yes. So in other words, you couldn't see 
what it is you needed or you didn't understand what's going on. Exactly. I didn't have the self-knowledge, which of course, what this whole whole um, radio show today is all about. Okay. Um, and this is the first of a three-part series. So there's a lot there. So we're going to really delve into what self-knowledge is. But oh my gosh, it if you had it, it would help all areas of your life, whether you want to lose weight, whether you're choosing the occupation, whether you want to be healthier, you want to be health, happy, when you're choosing another um, uh, mate, um, when you're working with your kids, okay, um, friends, relatives, it all comes from self-knowledge. Now, we have this problem-solution approach that, of course, I tried to implement. It didn't help. And I want to say this, and I want to say this, I, I, I don't want to offend in, anybody, but right after this happened, um, I started um, seeing a therapist. Now, th- talking about your feelings, there's a benefit to that up to a point. But as intuitives, what we see today is that s- sometimes talking about your feelings doesn't change the energy. It doesn't reveal who you are. It may give you some clarity, but even if you have that clarity, it doesn't allow you to act on what you see. So, so, and I'm just going to throw a story in here. Um, I uh, saw a therapist myself. I mean, oh, what a surprise. And um, after a year, I was talking about the same things. There was nothing had changed. Well, and what I noticed in, after a year, and, and to, not to compete here, <laughs> sweetheart, but um, what I noticed after a year is that I, I was much more articulate about yes. how screwed up I was. <laughs> I can, la- I can describe it in much it. greater detail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's, it's not, obviously it's not that simple. You know, I understood what the issues were. I understood what, but I, I wasn't being able to affect them. And that's where, um, you know, the self-knowledge with the ecosystem approach, because you're eliminating those negative emotions. Well, and, and I'm going to jump in and say, after doing the clearing, using the ecosystem approach, after the first three months, I hadn't seen my family because I lived like 50 miles away from them. And of course, then there was a holiday, that kind of thing. And when I walked through the door, I had not one, not two, but three people say to me, oh my God, what are you doing? You look yes. amazing. Yes, because she was changing the energy. She was removing the negative stuff. Yes. And um, it, it's, it's huge. So let's talk about the different categories real quickly. Okay. You know, in terms of your work, your job, occupation, money, mm-hmm. all those things come from self knowledge. You know, if you're, it doesn't matter how smart you are, if you choose the wrong occupation, it's going to be hard to be motivated. Or if you're choosing it for somebody else, meaning doing a job that somebody else wants you to do. Exactly. My dad wanted me to be an accountant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, that, you know, anyways, um, it, obviously that, that doesn't suit me very well at all. No. You know, just for you personally, well-being, happiness, you know, self-knowledge, you only get there with self-knowledge. Health, they say stress kills and that stress is the biggest problem with health. Well, it's true, but stress from our definition is when you're not living in accordance with who you are authentically. And you've done nothing to change that energy of the stress. Exactly. Or what causes the stress or how the stress affects you. Yes, exactly. So even relationships, oh my gosh, right. you know, um, choosing the wrong person, um, knowing what to choose, how to choose it. Again, I go back to the Hallmark Channel. If there's any truth to, the, to those Hallmark movies, you know, people don't know what they want. Right. They can't see what's right in front of them that's really um, positive oftentimes. Okay. So. So if, okay, so let's, let's with that understanding... If you don't change the energy, the problems keep happening. Exactly. Oh, exactly. And that's and changing the energy or removing the negative energy reveals who you are authentically. Right. So you can keep going and 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 uh, doing um, acting in the world in accordance with who you are. Well, and the other thing is, is I I do want to say this that it does take a um, a while to figure out how to actually choose in your best interest, but. The bottom line is, is if you keep using the ecosystem approach, you will be able to do those uh, choices or say, well, I think it's, oh, no, maybe it's not. I mean, you can do those things without, quote, the stress that you've been under probably most of your life. Well, and what we see is that 
kids grow up today in a programming environment. Right. You know, classic um, education is programming. And so when they get to uh, college and say, okay, what's your major? Well, I don't know. You know, uh, you know, it's, it's so many people struggle with that with good reason because they really don't know what the answer is. Okay. You know, here's the other thing I want to say. We talk about um, having a holistic approach, but it starts with your essence because once you understand your essence, the implementation is actually easier and better than a problem solution re- approach. In other words, if I was going to, you know, after I got out of the army, if I was going to focus on a problem solution, so I'd, I'd focus on solutions for weight loss and solutions for finding the right um, um, job and, and knowing where I want to live and um, um, being a good parent, being a single parent to my, my child, all those are separate they take a huge amounts of energy because they're separate issues in our problem solution um, environment uh, environment. So it's, that's very inefficient. Mm -hmm. The truth is once you start focusing on your essence about who you are and uncovering that all roads lead to the same spot. You can start um, clearing the things that, that affect you that will clarify everything. It's so much more efficient than the problem solution approach. But we hear people say this all the time. They'll come to us and say, you know, I don't care about my essence. I just want to lose some weight. Right. You know, I remember the the one um, um, client who came to me said she wanted to lose a few pounds. And I found out that she was, uh, she was one of the most depressed people I've ever encountered um, directly. Um, obviously that was, weight was not her problem. And we weren't going to do much with the weight until we got to the, the core issue. But when you do that from a holistic approach, it's so much more efficient. And if you keep doing it starting now and do it for the rest of your life, it's going to be amazing. Well, and that brings up changing the energy and doing the clearing is cumulative. Yes. And makes everything better over time. Problem solution approach is never cumulative because never. as soon as you're done with one thing, you've got 10 other things. Okay, Jason, what are the key points of this segment? All areas of life are better with self-knowledge and using essence. Anything that needs to be fixed in your life, the root always comes from your essence. And that clearing changes the energy and is cumulative. And the problem solution approach never is cumulative or changes the energy. And working at the level of essence is far more efficient than a problem solution or programming approach. Stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to talk about the tools we use to help people with gain unlimited, to gain unlimited self-knowledge. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Tired of being bloated and nauseous? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know eating unhealthy foods eventually leads to an unhealthy digestive system? Did you know eating the most healthy, nutritious food doesn't necessarily result in a healthy body? The stomach must be healthy in order to properly digest, metabolize, and utilize even the best of nutrition. Without proper digestion from the stomach through the intestinal tract, the nutritious value is not absorbed and the improperly digested food can be more toxic to your body than helpful. You can be doing all the right things and getting all the wrong results. In fact, other organs may also be interfering with your stomach's ability to digest. With CRA, we are able to determine the specific cause of the digestive issue and use the proper nutrition to correct the imbalance. Contact us today for your appointment at... 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. Or visit us at maryjanemack.com. Are you done being afraid to jump into the life that's waiting for you? Are you ready for a real shift? I invite you to tune in every Tuesday with me, Tracy L., on The Tracy L. Clark Show, where we will teach you how to live your extraordinary life. At 8 a.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio, where I will provide the tools and the steps needed to help you transcend perceived limitations and move forward with an extraordinary life. For more information, visit me at tracylclark.com. Would you like assistance on your soul's journey? 
We invite you to explore the new Alchemy of the Goddesses Center located in Auburn, Washington. A sacred space for healing sessions, classes, crystals, books, and many other tools to assist you in reaching your full divine potential. Working together with compassion and love. Find out more about the new center, visit alchemyofthegoddesses.com. That's alchemyofthegoddesses.com. Interested in deepening your spiritual practice? The School for Esoteric Studies offers online training to spiritual seekers from all paths of life and individual coaching. Our courses synthesize Eastern and Western spiritual traditions based on meditation, study, and service applied to everyday life. To learn more about our courses and services, please visit www.esotericstudies.net. Are you feeling stuck in unhealthy habits, toxic relationships, or low self-esteem? Do you crave a healthy relationship filled with inspiration? You might just be on the verge. On the verge of attracting your soulmate, tune in each month to The Laura Richer Show, where dating coach Laura Richer and co-host matchmaker Peggy Bennett share tools for using your dating breakdown for a relationship breakthrough. For more information, visit richerhealinghypnosis.com. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason and I'm Patricia. Today we're talking about powerful tools that we use for unlimited self-knowledge. We use an ecosystem approach to you, which is much different than what you are commonly taught. We see human beings as ecosystems that need to be uncovered instead of programmed. Human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach. Okay, Jason, give us a breakdown of all the tools that we use to understand self. Okay. First, there's the move clear meditate approach, which we use. Mm -hmm. Now, these moves um, are very unique because they combine clearing with movement so that you can be walking to uh, the bus stop, uh, walking to work, uh, going up four flights of stairs. Having lunch. Having lunch, um, taking a shower, making, um, making breakfast or a meal. You can, you, can do, you can incorporate these clearings with your daily tasks. Okay. Um, the clearing is th- things that you can do that we do at the end of the uh, program today. Um, they're very portable. They're very specific. And uh, the meditation, you know, everybody and their brother is doing meditations these days, but, you know, we, we can see energy. We can make a meditation not only help you relax, but to really help uncover that 80% in your essence. Mm-hmm. Now, if you go back to our um, New Beginnings show in the first part of the year, we talked about that 80% where when I start, started to do this work, I saw that our essence was covered Prime, you know, with this cloud of 80% of negative energy. That's where all the potential is. As you, if you can remove that 80%, you can, or start to remove that 80%, there's amazing things will happen in your life. So the second part, so the first one is move clear meditate approach and removing that, that um, negative energy in your essence. But the Enneagram, which we did in the last two shows, um, go back and review if you want to hear that, um, helps us understand that negative energy in terms of personality traits. And if we know what the personality traits that represent that 80%, we can convert them. And that's what what we do, Patricia and I do to um, energies and emotions that can be cleared. Mm -hmm. So um, that Enneagram as a personality typing tool can be very effective because it also shows you a form of directionality. It helps you go on the path to get better and better and know what's what you struggle with and what um, um, what's where you go to go forward. So what's the last one, Jason? Well, this is the part we're going to talk about today. We're just going to touch on it today. In our next uh, part two, we're going to talk about this a lot more. But it's the natal chart in astrology. Now, well, back it up. Can you explain this to me? The natal chart in astrology is the... Um, um, is a representation of who you are 
at the time and the moment of your birth. And it's, it's very, very valuable. I see it as amazingly valuable. But the problem is that, you know, astrology has been discredited because um, when, they, when that nail chart or astrological um, terms and features don't fit exactly, people say, oh, it's not right. But what we see is that negative energy that's attached to your essence um, perverts or gets changes. In, and gets in the way. Gets in the way of your authentic who you are. Mm -hmm. And this your nail chart in astrology is the authentic who you are. But even that is so complicated. The nail chart is complicated so that it, it takes a lot of interpretation that requires your intuition and the knowing from your essence but you can't do that if that's covered up with 80% of this negative energy. Well, this is so confusing, Jason. Well, it seems confusing, I realize. Part of the confusion, however, is that if I was explaining this to a kindergartner and they grew up with it, it would become natural. It would be, oh yeah, I get that. Oh, that's easy, you know? Mm -hmm. The problem has been that we've been programmed all of our life to view ourselves as a machine where we get, where if we have bad behavior, we just program ourselves out of it. And we act a different way. We never think about who we are authentically. Mm -hmm. But the key to who you are authentically um, is, can be seen through this astrology. Now, we take a very simple approach. Oh, my gosh. You know, I've, I studied it for a while, a long, long time ago. It can get so complex. And the only way that you can really use it in a way that's practical and effective for you is that you have to at the same time, do the clearing to uncover your intuition and get information from your essence to guide you so you can properly interpret astrology in the best way. You know, I've seen a lot of astrologers who are very, very academic and they, and, oh, they, they have all these details, blah, blah, blah. But at some point, your eyes start to cross and roll back in your head. You think, oh my gosh, you know, how can I use this? How can this be valuable? Well, in our next um, couple shows, we're going to teach you how to um, or talk about how you, we can make this valuable. But here's the, here's the bottom line. Okay. Making it valuable comes from removing that negative energy in your essence so that you can interpret and know through your essence um, how to interpret the basics of astrology. Okay. So put it all together for us, Jason. Well, um, one of the things that I see is that um, um, our body has this imprint and that we want to tell the truth about who we are all the time. You know, lie detection technology is all about that because when we tell a lie, our body doesn't like it and has a physiological response. Mm. And science has been able to capture that. And there are a few exceptions to that rule, but not that many. Yes. And you can game it or outsmart it and sure. that sort of thing. But that's a whole, that's, a, that's not yeah. relevant here. So when you uh, use the Move Clear Meditate approach to remove the large amounts of negative energy in your essence, and then use the Enneagram to see that negative energy so you can focus in on it really um, specifically. And, and get a direction. And get a direction. Then you can see um, through astrology, who you really are, mm. and and then get comfortable with what that is. So, and then and then using the ecosystem approach really helps bring it all together, so you can understand you better. Exactly, and, and deal with the rest of the world at the same time. And it's more than just understanding. And so, I want to make this point: okay. is that it's about potential. When we say mm -hmm. human potential becomes infinite with our ecosystem approach, you know, I want to jump up and down. I am so excited about this because what it could do to change the world is amazing. Well, and that's part of uh, being uncovered yes. as opposed to programmed. programmed. Yes. And Key points. You ready for that? I, I guess I am. Yes. Um, the um, ecosystem approach is a unique combination of tools to address the 80% negative energy that everything you want and need in life is a reflection of the health of your ecosystem and that um, your body is designed to tell the truth about who you are all the time in every way. And we just have to be able to read um, what the, our body's telling us and that your potential is unlocked, clearing the negative energy in your essence. Love it. So Jason, let's um, teach those 
who either don't know or remind everyone how to um, how to do the energy work that we do? Here we go. You don't have to stand or sit in a special way. You just have to use your imagination, your mind's eye. And when we say and to eliminate, gather up those beliefs, those feelings, those emotions, whatever they are, and, and blow them gently into a, a trash can. Um, they, it could be an actual trash can. It can be an imaginary trash can. And we'll, don't worry about the trash can. We'll empty it for you. Um, we'll take care of that. And then we go on to the next emotion. Okay. And then after that, we're going to activate life force energy. And life force energy is the most powerful, most amazing energy that anyone has access to. And by the way, we all have the right to access this energy. We're going to basically reverse the process. We're going to call that positive energy right in through that life force energy, right in through the top of our head. Um, let it go all the way down our torso and our arms into our legs and to our toes. I like to turn it around, pull it back up when I breathe out, meaning sounding like that. And, um, remove any negative energy that's been hanging around or left over. So we also see this as pure, clear light. Stay tuned when we come back. We're going to help you remove some of that negative energy so you can begin to understand yourself better. This is Living Lighter with Jason and Patricia with an ecosystem approach to your life. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Are you your story or can you change your story? Can you change what you believe to be true about yourself and your circumstances as part of your healing journey? What if you were to change your expectations? What if you were to invite ease and cooperation into every day and then step back and see what happens? It might just be easier. I'm Megan Edge, and I hope that you'll join me on my new radio show, Playing on the Edge, Radical Change with Ease, with my co-host, Dr. Pat, on Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to seeing you there. Want to find out more about Megan Edge? Visit her website at meganedge.ca. Have you been searching for a push to step out and share your gifts with the world? Allow Charlene Hess to empower you to start shedding the layers of your ego that are holding you back and begin feeling connected to your heart so that you can shine your unique divine light and share your gifts with the world. Tune in to the Charlene Hess Show, Living on Your Heart's Edge, every first and third Friday at noon Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. For more information, visit CharleneHess.com. Got a bra problem? The Healthy Bra Company comes highly recommended by Dr. Christina Lasich in her book, High Heels to Hormones, A Woman's Guide to Spine Care. Ladies, if you have neck, back, or shoulder pain or postural issues, Maria Monti, postural therapist and owner of The Healthy Bra Company, says they might be related to your bra. Call Maria today at 360-815-3205. That's 360-815-3205. This is Living Lighter Radio with Jason and I'm Patricia, and we're going to help you remove some of those negative energies so you can understand yourself better. Jason, you ready to do some clearing? Here we go. All right. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see myself more clearly. Take a breath, gather up those veils and illusions, and blow them into the trash can. And to eliminate the veils and illusions so I can see that all this would be simple if I wasn't already so programmed. Take a nice breath. Pick it up. You don't need it. And blow it out. 
and to eliminate any loyalty I have, any fear I have yeah. of moving out of this programming paradigm, programming environment. The truth is I still may have to use programming, but I can, I should add the clearing to help myself right now. Take a breath. And to eliminate all the fears and all the programmings that I have that says if I remove the programmings that I'm doing something wrong, that I'm betraying someone or I'm being disloyal when the truth is the only person I'm being disloyal to is myself by not removing negative energies. Take a breath. And to eliminate the false belief that if I move from programming to um, using my authentic self, that um, it's, it's not credible. It's wrong. When the truth is, it can't be wrong um, because it's me. It's the authentic me. Take a breath. And I'm going to jump in and say this. You know, when I started doing this, I was like, okay, um, how am I supposed to act here? The truth is my authentic self does know how to act anyway. So it makes it easier. And remember, I'm one of the most emotional types there are. So if you listen to the Enneagram show, but if you understand that, then you'll also understand that um, if I can do it, it's easy. Anybody can do it. Well, here's the biggest one. Okay. And to eliminate my fear that if I don't program myself, I'll be lazy. I'll be a slug. <laughs> I'll be completely and utterly useless when the opposite is true. Take a breath. Chances are if you, if you have any sort of um, fear of being lazy or um, um, inappropriate, it's because you're not acting from your authentic self, not because you are. Exactly. Take a breath. And to eliminate any and all barriers so I can do the clearing to see myself more clearly and then connect with my authentic self. Take a breath. And to eliminate any impatience I have to remove all the negative energy of my essence right now, which of course w would never work. Take a breath. <laughs> <laughs> and here's another good one. And to eliminate any neediness I have to be someone that I'm not and not connect with my authentic self because of programming. Take a breath. And to eliminate any shame or guilt that I have that keeps me from clearing to understand self, meaning myself, because I fear what I will see or what I will find out. Remember, life is an adventure. Take a breath. And to eliminate any fear I have of embracing that adventure by uncovering who I am authentically. Mm -hmm. Take a breath. Here's a good one. And to eliminate the anger and resentment and bitterness that I have that keeps me from seeing myself authentically and keeps me from wanting to connect with my authentic self. Take a breath. And to eliminate the barriers so I can focus on clearing to uncover myself and have greater self-knowledge and self-awareness. Take a breath. Okay, Jason, you ready to activate some life force? Let's do it. All right, here we go. I direct all my resources in all dimensions to activate life force energy so I can use life force energy for all that I need, want, desire, and deserve. Take a nice breath. Pull that right in through the top of your head. Let it go all the way through your body. And now turn it around, let go, push out any hate and anger and fear that got in the way of anything today. Um, blow it out. And to activate life force energy so I can have the strength and the power and the knowing that 
clearing a little bit every day is in my best interest and I can do this. Take a breath. Pull it in through the top of your head. Tips of your toes, turn it around, blow any negative energies out. And to activate life force so I can have the patience to uncover myself for greater self-awareness, self-knowledge, um, mm -hmm. um, and, um, and happiness. Take a breath. Love it. And to activate life force so I know that I can take care of me and my life even the way it is right now by clearing every single day and connecting with that life force energy. Because when I connect with it, I feel better. Take a breath. Top of your head, all the way to the tips of your toes, turn it around, blow any negative energy out. and to activate life force energy so I can love myself enough to be peaceful, happy, healthy, and even enjoy laughter and love today um, and help others be the same today. Pull in that life force energy, take a breath. All the way to the tips of your toes, blow it out. So, Jason, what are we going to talk about next week? Okay, we're going to talk about part two of understanding self. And You mean there's more? There's, there's three parts, actually. Oh, no. Because there's so much of it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's so important. I mean, it's truly the, the answer to everything. All the problems you've ever had, I guarantee you, you could trace back to, I didn't understand myself mm -hmm. well enough. Mm -hmm. So... Um, we're going to talk a little bit more about astrology and how to use it in a way that is simple, useful, and practical. Okay. And that word simple and practical, useful, all three of those is, is rare with astrology. So we're going to, we're going to go there. I don't claim to be an astrologist, but I'm, um, um, I know enough and my ability to interpret the information is for both of us is really mm -hmm. high level. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, if you um, got some part of um, what we've been talking about today and the importance of removing negative energy in your ecosystem, mark your calendar. The Living Lighter Radio is every week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. If you can't listen at that time, our show is recorded and you can go to our website, www.livinglighter.org and look for the radio tab. So. Um, if you want to have a better life, and part of part of the way to do that is making clearing um, something that you do constantly, consistently, and specifically, all you have to do is sign up for a newsletter. Mm. Go to our website at www.livinglighter.org. Go to the radio tab, and um, every week we have clearings that'll help you uncover who you are. Mm -hmm. It's all there for you. It's all free. All we ask for is your name and email address. So go do that right now. It's, it's really important. And I always tell the backstory um, of the radio show. A lot of times I talk, talk a little bit about Patricia, which I love to do. Um, <laughs> um, tell her secrets, no, you know, which she hates me. me. Yes, yeah, so when I do that. Exactly. So um, sometimes I tell my own secrets, but it's... Mostly um, he tells mine. Yeah. <laughs> so you'll, I hope, hope you'll enjoy it. And people... Take it, they, they get it on their phone and they use it to do clearings throughout the week until they have the next show. Okay, so, um, um, you know, we would love to hear your, your comments, um, remarks. We'd also like to hear suggestions about uh, shows in the future or, you know, comments and remarks about the shows that we've already done. If you haven't listened to all of those shows or even, you know, a few of them, go back. You can go back, go to our radio, um, go on our website, and um, go to the radio tab. You can listen to the back um, issues. It's real easy. In fact, Jason's going to tell you how to do that right now. All you have to do is go to livinglighter.org and go to the radio tab. And you can scroll through that dialogue box there and um, get all the back issues. You can download it or listen to, listen to it right then and there. 
And um, uh, I'm, uh, yeah, if you want to make comments, um, go, to, um, go to our email at uh, Jason and Patricia. That's one word, J-A-S-O-N-A-N-D-P-A-T-R-I-C-I-A at livinglighter.org. And so I got to tell you a secret. I stay up at night looking for my likes on Facebook. <laughs> so if, you know, if um, you want to connect, if you have a question, you he want to post. He is so <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> if, if, you, if you want to, um, 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 if you liked what you heard today, if you, if you make, want to make a comment, if you have a question, you know, like us on Facebook, post the question. We'd be happy to answer that for you. So, um, okay. And we're at livinglighter.org on Facebook. Okay, so um, we'll connect next week, Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific and 4 p.m. Eastern Time. This is Transformation Talk Radio. You're listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. Wishing you a lifetime of living lighter. Thank you for listening to Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. I'm Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly as we discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information, visit our website at www.livinglighter.org.